Yo, I'm looking at the Robin Thicke Paula Patton drama and people have been saying some dumb stuff. He's desperate, he's making himself look bad, he should respect her and leave her alone. One chick even said he's being creepy. Uh, for those of y'all who don't know, that's his wife. She ain't some workplace crush, chick he just met, or some Instagram model with booty pictures and booking info. That's his wife, his woman, that's him. Matter of fact, most of y'all don't even deserve to have an opinion because most of y'all don't even value yourselves, marriage, or relationship. Most people don't even know value. Yep, I said it, the V word, not virgin, value. See, value is when something has worth to you, importance, significance. How you value something determines how you will treat it or how you will act if you lose it. Most people, when they lose something valuable, they're gonna do whatever it takes to get it back. I'll give you an example. You go to somebody's house and they offer you a drink. They bring the drink to you in a glass. You finish your drink and they put it where? In the sink. Same scenario. Instead of them bringing you the drink in a glass, they bring it to you in a plastic cup. After you're done, what are you gonna do with it most likely? Throw it away. You know why? Because somewhere on the scale, a plastic cup has less value than a glass. A lot of y'all in plastic cup relationships. That's the main reason our divorce rate's so high. And that's why so many of y'all got so many exes. Anybody you attempt to make a commitment with shouldn't be someone you could so easily discard. You should look at them and see a fine glass. Not a solo cup. Well, he don't value her, he cheated. Okay, at the time of him cheating, you're right, he didn't value her. But you know something about something valuable? Sometimes you gotta lose it for you to really appreciate or know what you got. You got a car, you put the key in ignition, you start it up, you go on wherever you gotta go. Most of us don't even think twice about it. Now let's say one given morning, you put your key in ignition, the car don't start. Uh-oh! Your car now becomes 10 times more valuable as you ride the bus to wherever it is you gotta go. It took two things for Robin Thicke to cheat on his wife. Absence of value for his wife and the presence of opportunity. But that doesn't necessarily mean he should lose his wife. Just because you didn't value something doesn't mean you should lose it forever. Maybe you went to Miami for spring break and you let that guy smash that you had just met that night. You didn't value yourself very much that night, did you? Maybe you ought to lose your vagina. But the thing a lot of you single people ain't understanding that this is a marriage. For better or for worse, this is worse. Some of y'all will never know what it's like to have somebody fight for you like Robin Thicke is fighting for Paula right now. Half of y'all can walk out of the relationship you in right now. Your babe would be like, <laughs> Peace. Especially black people. Ooh, race car. Ladies, let me ask y'all something. Be real. When the last time your man got you flowers? Huh? Hmm? Huh? See, the answer to that question is gonna depend on whether you're white or black. See, black men will give you flowers on four occasions, maybe. Birthday, Valentine's Day, Christmas, anniversary. That's if you look. A lot of black men won't even bring flowers when they do something wrong. We don't even think to do that. We just come saying some stuff thinking you're just gonna forgive us. Matter of fact, black men give flowers so seldom, you can actually meet black women who say they don't like getting flowers. You know why they don't like getting flowers? Cause nobody ever give them flowers. That's why. You see, when you can't have something, the next best thing is not to want it anymore. She know good and doggone well. She see her friends at work getting flowers and she be thinking to herself, she ain't even cute. How she getting flowers? I want some flowers. Fucking damn flowers. And fuck all the flowers that ever was. And they will hate anything associated with flowers. They hate women named Rose, Lily, Daisy. Fuck all them bitches. She ain't using flour no more. She frying chicken. She just hate flowers. Brothers, we gotta do better. See, white men got it together. They different. White men will give their women flowers for no reason. They don't even need a special occasion. Yeah, baby, I got you these flowers because it's Tuesday. And don't let a white man mess up. Woo! A white man will go to the florist and buy it out. This woman will come home, it'd be flowers everywhere. Be something she need a machete to get through the living room. I guess he's sorry. Maybe we should make up. Some of y'all are with dudes right now who will fight harder for a pair of Jordans than to keep you from walking out. Some of y'all in relationships with a dude would be more distraught if he lost a bag of weed than if he lost you. Think about it. Hey, yo, my Twitter handle's on the screen. It's the same name I use for Instagram. Also, a reminder, Son of a Preacher by Josh Adam is still out and available either on his website, joshraps.com, or on iTunes. I'm leaving a link to both of those sources also in the description box. If you do not have a copy, get one. My point, I got a couple of them, actually. First of all, y'all throw this love word around so easily, but then when the time comes to back it up, y'all know where to be found. The Bible says faith without works is dead. Well, love without backing it up ain't jack. Another point, a woman that's in love with you don't want you to just let her leave. She wants you to go after her. Show her that she's worth you actually running after. And if you're a woman and you didn't know that, that's probably because ain't nobody ever ran after you. Look, pride goes before destruction. Fellas, if you want to keep your woman, you're going to have to drop that pride. And beg if you got to. Shoot, I would. Ladies, if you understand, the only thing about me, understand, I ain't too proud to beg. Sweet darling, please don't leave me, girl. Don't you go. I ain't too proud to Please, baby, baby, please don't leave me, girl, don't you.